Have you watched The Notebook? Well, if you have not, I'm sorry, but major spoiler alerts ahead. The Notebook is not only an amazing romance novel slash movie, it also tells a tale about Ellie, who in her old age suffers from a condition known as Alzheimer's. Her condition led to severe memory loss to a point where she forgot her the love of her life, Noah. So Noah reads to her their love story every single day and for a brief but very rare moment, she remembers him. Can you imagine forgetting the love of your life? Why can you imagine the love of your life forgetting you? But how did Ellie end up in such a situation? You must know that our brain can age healthily or unhealthily. Healthy brain aging means good brain functioning as we get older, while unhealthy brain aging is the reverse. Alzheimer's is a condition that is caused by unhealthy brain aging. My PhD research focuses on the mental health aspect of unhealthy brain aging. Basically, I want to know which comes first, unhealthy brain aging or mental health issues. So far, I found that one in 14 of our older adult population suffers from unhealthy brain aging. I also found that poor mental health can lead to unhealthy brain aging. But more importantly, I found that this effect can be detected early and may be undone if we help people with their mental health issues earlier on. So why is this study important? One is the high number of people with unhealthy brain aging in our population. And this number is expected to reach 65.7 million by 2030. Next, mental health issues. Did you know that one in four older adults suffer from mental health issues? Can you imagine? So with this research in the long run, we can help identify those at risk of unhealthy brain aging and poor mental health earlier on so that we can help them improve their mental health or their brain aging process. We don't know and can't be 100% sure why someone goes through poor brain functioning, but Maybe if we improve their mental health, maybe we can delay the start of unhealthy brain aging. And we can also provide them a better life for a longer time. So, do you think we could have helped Ellie? I for one would like to be optimistic and say yes. Now, who's in the mood for a rewatch? Thank you.